Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're playing Unpacking, this really cute indie game I discovered on Steam a while back. And this is my second playthrough. My first playthrough I put on YouTube, but there were some like graphical issues and audio mess up. So I'm redoing the series and this is my third video. So um, we're following a young female character and she um, is now living on her own. This is her apartment. We went through her childhood bedroom, her dorm bedroom, and now we are in her apartment. So it's cool. And we just basically unpack things. It's super pixelated, adorable, my style 100%. Um, I love to organize, so it's really nice to organize in the game. And I appreciate the graphics, truly I do. Um, it's a, it, This game has a lot of replay value. And um, there's something with stickers that you can, I, I don't know. My first play, but you know, beat it and everything. It gave me the ability to go back through some of my unpacking rooms and add stickers. I, just, I haven't asked with it yet, but this game offers a lot, guys. So if you've not played it, if you've been curious about it, I'm gonna tell you, give it a go. Even at full price, it's about 20 bucks, but if you can catch it on sale, I'd recommend that too. But I paid the full 20 for it and I don't regret it because I've had it for months now and there is, it's just adorable. <laughs> There's just so much you can do with it. It is a puzzle game. A lot of people don't realize that. It's a puzzle game. So some of the things, you know, have to go in certain places. But it also teaches you to be, like, you know, more organized with yourself. You can't just put whatever, wherever, you know. There is an order to the madness. So we are putting books away. I mean, I'm not doing the best job ever right now. Just, like, get this shit out of the box and onto the shelf. We'll, we'll fix any mistakes later. Controllers. Is that uh can't really tell. Is that a GameCube controller? Yes, work if I can't can't make it out. But we got a bunch of like super retro stuff. Apparently she um what is that a cricket? That's a scorpion, I think. Or a beetle. She's a pet beetle. Oh, and it's a GameCube. Um, cute little chachis and books upon books and she's very cool hanging out with her. And like guys, check out the window. Look at that view. So cool. So if you guys are familiar with bridges, I guess you can figure out where we are. I, San Francisco? I don't know. Okay, in the bedroom now. So there's, I think there's a living room, a bedroom, a bathroom obviously, and a kitchen. There might be a dining room. I can't remember. It could just be a kitchen. Um, going one by one. And what's kind of funny and realistic, and I've mentioned this before playing this game, is that um, all the boxes, um, so, well, not all, but some of the boxes are in the wrong room, so you'll have to take things and go back and forth. There could be some appliances in these boxes. We'll have to go to the kitchen real quick and put it there. Some, un some undies could be in the living room box, and we'll have to, like, really sort. And this woman has a lot of underpants. More than I have. <laughs> I'll be honest. I got, like, three pair, y'all. <laughs> like straight up I don't know I've never in my fucking life never in my life she is loaded with clothing shit <laughs> but anyway enough about me <laughs> how are you guys doing hope you're enjoying the video series so far hope you've enjoyed a lot of the content I've been putting out lately I know it's not consistent but I have anxiety so when I kind of feel somewhat Eased. I do my videos and stuff, so I'm kind of, I've had a good night so far, I'm feeling pretty good, feeling, feeling confident, so I'm like, yeah, I'll do a video, play this game, entertain you guys, and, um, you know, just let y'all, like, remind y'all, I'm still here, hello, <laughs> I'm alive, yeah, I don't, I don't freaking, uh, care much about the shoes, if they are together or not, honey, if I gotta wear them, I'll, I'll put them on, correctly but they don't have to be perfect in the closet i'm okay with that oh she still has her little bakery hat where we put it ah. Ah. okay we can't hang the pants um hmm. what is this thing okay cool perfection and your little hat will go down here nice is this like a diploma I can't even... oh sh oh wow look at that can I put it over here? 
Damn, I'm gonna have to go somewhere else. Eh. Eh, there's nowhere to put it. What? The fuck? Where does this go? In the, in the fucking bathroom? Huh. <laughs> well, I mean, oh well. That's fine. Gotta. There has to be decor for the bathroom, so. Take this shirt, put this in here. We gotta find a damn place for it. There! Oh! Yay. That's a jacket. Sorry. Cool. A little yoga mat. Oh, another hanger. A purse. Whoa. Cute purse. And yeah, guys, the jams are real. The jams are real good. All about it. Dance to it in the moonlight. So I hope I've inspired some people to want to try this game out because it's really fun. Um, you know, it's relatable. We all live, we all move, we all we all unpack things or go into the future. So, you know, and I think a lot of people my age or around my age can appreciate the pixels. They're so cute. A pixelated game is a game worth playing. Quote me on that. Go ahead and quote me. What is that? Is that like a, uh, birth, what is it, a pregnancy test? I think that was a Kotex. This Tampax? I don't know. <laughs> Kotex Tampax? Hey girl. Could be an off brand. Shampoo. The shampoo goes on the skin or else it gets hot water again. <laughs> We're almost done here. Almost done. What is this? Oh, perfume. A little brush. That's a tiny brush. Good things. Organized. I mean, good things. This shirt. Fucking, she has so many damn shirts. Like, holy hell. Girl. What's going on? Got it. Looking good. Looking fresh. I'm making progress. What is that? Hmm. So yeah, I am loving this game so much. Like, I might do a third playthrough and and try to mess around with stickers and see what that does. Cause I would like to get all the trophies for this game as well, like all the achievements on Steam. I'm one of those people. A completionist. Well, I can't really label myself as a completionist because like, I'm not really good at completing games. It just, it, I can do it, it just takes a while. <laughs> but I aspire to be one. So, yeah, this is a cute kitchen, a little small for me be honest, I don't really like the island sink situation going on here, but I get it. It's it's a tiny home. It's a tiny apartment. So, oh, that's a cute little laptop. I don't know what that is. I really don't. <laughs> that's, a, that's a slow cooker, a strainer. I, okay, guys, can I say this right now? What is it, okay, what is it uh, that people call strainers? Uh, I cannot fucking stand the word that it's, it's another word for strainers. Oh my god, I gotta look this up. I gotta, I gotta know. I gotta know. But I don't, I don't want to stop playing though. <laughs> It'll come to me. But it's a really weird word, and I get it. It's proper, not in my lifetime, not for me. Fuck, what is it called? It's called a fucking colander, and I hate it when people call it that. It's like, who are you? Who, who the fuck are you? And I get it, you know, different strokes for different folks. But this folk right here, me, it's a strainer, okay? Jesus Christ. Look, I took culinary arts and they did call it a colander and I didn't like, I despised them for that. But I had a great time in culinary arts. I loved it, it was fun. Good times.
God, I can't believe it's been like literally over 10 years since I graduated high school and it feels like yesterday. Like I, <laughs> I have a really good memory. So, um, of certain things, you know, that people blocked out by trauma. But anyway, it's all good. This, this kitchen's looking better and better by the minute. Just finding different places to put all this oil and vinegar and salt, pepper. And, is that a fucking chopper thing from the infomercials? Hell yeah. That's what I like. Find a place for this uh, laptop. So if it's blinking right now, the highlighted items are blinking, that means they are in the wrong place. And I gotta figure out where they go. And that's the puzzle part I was talking about earlier. But yeah, I, I've seen people streaming this, and I could totally see this being like a really good game to like just chillax and talk to your viewers with. Um, if you can multitask, for me, it's like I, I gotta. I'm talking to myself, it's, it's one thing, but I'm talking to y'all too, but answering questions and all that, it, I might get confused. <laughs> oh, there's some, some undies. Okay. She likes purple. See, I do like the character a lot. Like, I relate on so many levels. All the little figurines, chachis, books, the creativeness, like, I would totally hang out with her. We'd, we'd vibe. Need five hearts. Okay, yeah, this is not going. This uh, George Foreman does not go in the bathroom. I don't. Yeah, I don't blame you. It's kind of nasty. I don't know what that. Well, obviously this is a loofah, but I don't know what that food thing was. Looks like a, a tablet. I'm gonna put the air freshener on the toilet. That's how we do. First aid kit under. And uh, yeah, this picture frame does not go there. So what the fuck? Like, what the hell do you guys want me to do? Just go under something? Like, I don't get it. I really don't. Like, we are limited here. Sh should I put it under the bed? Oh, okay. Mm. A little cluttery for me, but whatever. We are limited with space and storage, so. Whatever, it's cool. It's all gravy, baby. Hi, hey, we did it. Oh my god, guys, we finished it. I thought there was more I, I missed. Well, awesome. We're gonna watch little uh, time lapse uh, playback. Love the shit. So satisfying. Yeah, that's a nice ASMR sound, too. Got it. <laughs> gonna figure everything out eventually we, and we did we did but guys i really hope you've enjoyed the series and you enjoyed this video and uh, my enthusiasm for this because this is my shit right here but um yeah please like subscribe check out my uh my channel for videos and like check me on instagram tiktok and twitter i'd appreciate that pretty cool I'm trying to get to 500 for Christmas time, that's my goal. Before December, I'd like to hit 500 subs. So guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.